All right, so I feel good today. Let's go ahead and just keep going. So I'm gonna refill the rice container, or not refill it, but I fill it the rest of the way up with the new rice that I bought. So let's do that. This, add that to the container. Go ahead and put this away. All right, so I'm gonna show you how we, how I do this uh, chicken. And get my colander out or strainer. over here for a second and show you how I wash the chicken. This kitchen is a mess. I just need to clean the kitchen today too. wash the chicken before I cook it and store it so I know some people don't do that um, I actually watched a video not long ago that was talking about not to do that but this is how we do this in our house and uh, we haven't had no problems haven't had no um, sickness from it or anything so I take the chicken out of the pack stick it in this strainer and I always put the chicken thingy in this baggie. This is the bag I put the chicken in when I buy it and then I'll tie that up and then extra tie it up with the other thing. So, I don't know if you can see that yet. I put the chicken in this bag. We always put that tray in that bag and then I tie it up in a grocery bag. And uh, hopefully that keeps the chicken juices and stuff out of our trash can. So, this is what I do, y'all. I run the water on my chicken. And I'm gonna take this little knife right here that I bought my husband a while back. It's an old timer trade blade um it came out of like a hunting kit and everything and it's real sharp so i'm gonna take this and we're gonna separate the white pieces from the chicken and put those in that bag that i'm gonna tie up so and clean it off real good. I gotta split this down the middle like this. Just like that. See how easy that is to split? We're gonna keep continue to take this white off because we don't eat that. I'm just gonna keep on going. Make sure everything is okay. I don't know what this piece is, so we're going to take that off. Go lay down. Corella, go lay down. Go lay down. I 
I gotta build the gate today for the separating the kitchen from the living room because I have a doggie that likes to try to be at my feet right now while I'm doing this. So anyway, I keep on going. I keep taking this white stuff off. Keep putting it in the bag, and I don't give this to my dogs uh, or anything. I just we just straight throw it away. I know some people probably give it to their dogs and their animals and stuff, but our dogs and cat are strictly food, you know, like their kind of food and stuff, so we don't give them table food really, and they get a little piece of table food here and there when it hits the floor or whatever, but other than that, we don't purposely feed them table food. And some people might not understand that. But that's okay. All right. So that's all cut up. So I'm gonna let that rest for a second. I'm gonna take this baggie. I'm gonna take this baggie that I put the stuff in. We're gonna tie that into a knot. Like that. I'm gonna stick it back in this grocery bag right here. And we're going to tie this in a knot as well, as tight as we can, just like that. And I'm going to stick it in the trash can. All right. Now, I'm going to move you back over here to this area. Sorry about the noise, y'all. So this area and we're going to cut this chicken up and put it in baggies. So how about it? Let's get started. Let me set some baggies out. We'll see. Might not need three baggies. But I'm going to put... Today is the 15th, so I'm going to put 915 up here and then just right breast 915 breast. And I normally don't even write on the bags, y'all. I normally just stick it in the bags and stick it in the freezer because it's just me and my husband here and, uh, we don't have a deep freeze to buy bulk, so. And I always, I cook for my father-in-law too. Usually, uh, make enough for him. So, but we're gonna try to guesstimate what half of this breast is and cut it just like that. And it's cut in half, just like that. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. About, I say about right there. And cut this one in half, just like that. And then we're gonna take this one. I actually, I'm gonna grab a bigger knife. So I'm gonna take this one right here. We're going to slide this in just like this. Out of the way of the other ones. We're going to slide this in just like this. And we're going to split this half a breast in half. Just like that. So now it's in half. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna do this one, and we're going to split this in half, just like this. And I use these when I cook dinner. Um, I make chicken with um, squash and zucchini and stuff like that, so 
like I said, I share it with my father-in-law, which enjoys it because he doesn't really cook for himself down there. He's just by himself. So, so yeah, we try to share, um, which is fine. He seems to ha enjoy my food. He hasn't complained about it. He hasn't said I tried to kill him or anything, so that's a good thing. But anyway, so we're just going to continue to do that. And remember, the chicken is already washed off with cold water. Just like that. So I rinsed my hands off, and then I'm going to go ahead and put them in baggies. And I'm probably just going to put them in baggies of three. <coughs> Because, like I said, we just cooked for us and my father-in-law, so I think three will be okay. Maybe I'll do two in a bag or something. Um, six, eight, yeah. Yeah, let's just do two, two in a bag. I'm going to do two, just like that. Just like that. There's one. Open it up, put these two big pieces right here in the bag. Just like that. And zip it. And I'm probably going to use two pieces. Um, let's we'll see. Alright. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do three and three, and then I'll use those two. Okay. I'm going to do that. And so, I'm going to do like that. No. I'm going to cook that one. Okay, I'm talking to myself now. Apologize. Um, I'm going to do this one. Just like that. We're going to stick this one in here. Just like that. And we're going to slide these in the freezer. Wash it with really hot water and some Dawn dish soap. Alright. I'm talking about the knives, y'all, not the not the lettuce. Anyway, so that's how I prepared my chicken. 
My chicken is now ready to cook for my pasta salad. So we're gonna do the, we're gonna quickly move on to the uh, lettuce, get that done so I can get that boxed up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my chicken for my pasta salad. And this is how we do the lettuce. Oh, I guess I need to move y'all back over here. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying this. I haven't never done one of these videos before, so this is something different for me. To have people, or showing people what I do, how I do my kitchen stuff. But I see these videos all the time, so I figure what the heck. Was it gonna hurt me to show y'all stuff, right? So, all right. So you're gonna pop this lettuce out of the bag or the wrap okay i'm gonna set that right here i'm gonna take this first layer off just like this all the way around and get rid of that brown stuff so i found this um technique online and it's awesome and we've had lettuce last a very long time so as i was making um blts so yeah so i'm gonna cut the head off or this stalk off but i usually i usually bang it on the counter and it pops it right out and you just pull it out i learned that trick at McDonald's a long time ago. <laughs> so anyway, so you rinse the lettuce. I rinse the lettuce. I wish I could have got lettuce to grow in my garden, but for some reason it would not grow for nothing. <laughs> now, I need to find my container real quick. Here's my container right here. And the trick is to you take this plastic container. Let me move some stuff so you can see. So you take this plastic container right here and I'm gonna take three squares, three squares of the paper towel. We're gonna fold this paper towel like this and we just stick it right in the bottom of this container, right? Then we take this lettuce and I'm just gonna cut it in some spots just like this. Just do it just like that. And then I'm gonna start pulling it out like that. And they're just separating it. Just tearing it and putting it in here. Just like this. So what happens is, is when you store it, the paper towels are for the moisture. And it keeps these, this lettuce fresh. So it lasts a lot longer. And I found this, like I said, I found this online. I don't know, I was looking up some way to, to store lettuce for a lot longer. And this is what came up. 
and we like it. We've been doing it ever since. I mean, we have like three weeks worth of BLTs um, using the same lettuce that I have bought the same head for the first set of BLTs and still had some for sandwiches and salads. So we're gonna try to use it up real good this time. And um, I might take two containers this time. That's a pretty big head of lettuce. So anyway, so we're going to do this and when we put the lid on and stick it in the refrigerator and yeah, that's how I store my lettuce. And keeps it crispy. I forgot to mention that it keeps it crispy also. So. Did you just eat lettuce? I think my dog Cash just ate lettuce, which is funny because Corella won't touch the stuff. I've tried to give her lettuce before, or a piece fell on the floor, and she just would not touch it. So it's funny that Cash just ate some lettuce. good question why do people do that well, I, we started off with chief which we call Bubba a lot of times because he's a butthead and he's a big cat we started off with him and we named him chief in the beginning and it starts with a C right then later on we got Cruella and she was pretty much named before we got her by the lady we bought her from so that starts with a C. And then we got Cash as a puppy. He was five weeks old. And we turned around and we named him Cash, which is also a C. So why do people do that? I mean, I don't even think we realized what we did when we did it, when we named them all with C's, which is funny. So I just wonder like, why do people do that? <laughs> because, like, in my family, we're all L's. Um, I have a, I had a sister, and she passed away in 2016, and her middle name was Lynn, and then my first name is Laura, and I have a little brother who his middle name is Lee. So we're all L's. just odd how people do that all right all right so we got the lettuce done and we're gonna give that to the chickens in a little bit put it in this container right here I'm just chop it up and put it in here because I'm fixing up cut up a cucumber and stuff so Do that right there. Throw this away. Just like that. I'm going to set this over here. 
because I'm probably fixing to use it some more. I think I'm pretty much done with this colander though. All right. So, I'm going to move some stuff back over here to the sink. I'm running out of room. I had to clean up last night dishes or pots and pans and stuff so I can have room over here on the sink to do something. Okay. Just fold this up. Put this off to the side. About making some vegetable soup tonight, but I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I might though. Vegetable soup sounds good. It's been kind of cooler in the evenings, around 70 something. So. Let's see. Let's see what the hubby thinks about it. So yeah, I'm gonna wash these pans off real quick. Probably should have cleaned this kitchen up before I started this uh, recording, but you know what? This is real life, y'all. So. so my son has a birthday on Sunday and he's turning the big 21. So that's amazing. He graduated high school. He's turning 21. I wanted to get him but I drive a Silverado 1500 and he lives over an hour away and it's like driving a tank everywhere and I'm trying to get rid of it at the moment trying to trade for a car that smaller and lighter and all that kind of stuff so I'm working on it I'd really like to have a Jeep Wrangler but they are so hard to find at a reasonable price. Alright. So I think my chicken been sitting over here long enough. I'm going to move some stuff around again. Put this down in here. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Next step. <laughs> 
next step. Okay? So, we're going to pull us some olive oil out. I'm going to drop a little bit in there. I'm guesstimate that that's about a tablespoon. I'm not sure. So, sounds good to me, though. I'm going to heat this up. And cut this chicken into pieces. And yep, of course, I'm touching chicken again. So I'm going to have to wash my hands again. I keep getting looked at weird by the dogs because they've never... They think that I, I guess I'm talking to myself or something. So. So anyway, so I'm going to cook this chicken. And I love chicken. I can eat chicken all the time. But I change it up in the house and we do beef sometimes and yeah pork chops and stuff like that because i don't want my husband to get burned out of eating one certain thing because that would suck so but i could literally i could actually go with just eating rice and vegetables sometimes so sometimes i just don't have that big of an appetite and then sometimes i do of course tell you a story so I went when we first uh, moved here a couple years ago well, almost two years now I went to a store and I got these um, this knife set it was the pioneer woman with the wooden handle knife set loved it sharp knives um, absolutely just cut through anything loved it and I messed up so it said on the package or on the box that they came in that you they were dishwasher safe so from the get-go i was washing these knives in my dishwasher well lo and behold that if you wash them in the dishwasher and they dry in the dishwasher and stuff that they can get rust spots and that whole like set well almost the whole set most of it had rust, rust spots on it. So yeah. So don't wash your knives in the dishwasher. I now wash my knives by hand. And um, dry them by hand. Okay. All right. Five quart saucepan, two thirds full of water. So we're making this a uh, hidden valley. Hidden Valley, the original ranch pasta salad and the homestyle Italian. We're cooking our chicken. We're fixing to put our, our pasta on over there. And it says on the package to, lit, to cook the pasta as directed on the box. For 11 minutes, uncovered. 
and it looks like this. It's just rotini pasta. Anyway, so you pour that in there, and then it comes with a Hidden Valley Ranch dressing thing. So we're going to set that to the side, give this a little bit to cook. I'm going to run and put these puppies out. Come on, puppy. Put those puppies outside so I can cook some stuff. So let's get this all cooked up. It won't take long for this chicken to cook at all. About a cup of chicken too, so good guesstimating. chicken gets done. I think I'm just going to put it in a little container right here with a piece of aluminum foil. It's going to make us a little like bowl thing. I've never made this before, but I'm going to have to zest some lemon, which I've never done before. I've never tried zesting a lemon. I think I'm going to get the juicer down and just use the juicer to juice the lemons. It's already 2 o'clock. I'm over here trying to make me something to eat. It's okay. Alright. See if I can find this juicer.
done just like that. Like I said, I'm going to fold it over and keep it warm right here. Just like that. We got the pasta still going. I'm gonna flip y'all back around again and up a little, just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna juice this. Zest the lemon just a little bit too. I think I do that with. This is how I can zest a lemon. Let's see. Need a bowl. Need a bowl. bowl. Alright. So, how much lemon zest? One lemon. Finely grated zest. And juice, quarter of a cup of juice. All right, let's skip that part because I don't know how to zest the lemon. Hey, Google, how do you zest a lemon? Here's a video I found from Search. How to zest a lemon. The important part is not to zest any of the pith. Watch the following technique and I'll show you how. We've got these original graters. Really important when we use this, we use the, the fine zester. Not the big rough one, not the one for slicing, and not the other one for grating. This little one here. Onto a plate, because it's always easier to lift off from the plate than it is the board. And the most important thing about zesting a lemon is nice long strokes, but twisting the lemon round. Every time we go down, we twist. Same with the orange, and same with the lime. Little tap. If you go too far, let me just show you. Look, you've got that white, bitter pith that destroys the wonderful, zesty flavor. And look, that's what we're looking for there. It's really nice, vibrant lemon zest. Delicious. In this 
serious and we surprise you and we strip away all the complexity of our craft and teach you how to cook amazing food standing on your head. That is amazing, incredibly tender. From the kitchen novice to the budding chef, we're going to give you the confidence, the recipes and the insider knowledge to make you a much better cook. Slice around, wasting nothing. I've been cooking in professional kitchens for over 25 years. Hey, what cheese is in the macaroni now? I've been taught by some of the best chefs in the world, and in turn, I've taught some of the best. How much whiskey is in that? A little bit. Now, I'm going to show you some simple and accessible recipes for fantastic food that you can easily cook at home. Mm. Incredible. I'll be holding... Is this, this lemon? I mean, I've... Uh, We painstakingly did that. We can continue with our thing. strain this and here just like that get ready for cold water
that to the bowl. And I'll move it over here. Go into try to give me a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. I'm just gonna do all the lemon juice. It's about a quarter of a cup anyway. So, but I'm gonna use this little colander thingy. There we go. There. All right, add that to my dishes. I guess we'll need to throw these lemons out in a second. Put this thing down here. Put this over here. All right, what the recipe say again? Let's see. I'm gonna turn y'all around. Sorry about that. That was a little whoopty doo. A whoopty doo, rather. So it says, in a large bowl, whisk the lemon zest, lemon juice, olive oil, and seasoning packet. So how much olive oil do I need? I need a quarter cup of olive oil. So I need that. Right. Just so happens we still have our olive oil on the floor. Let's go ahead and put the olive oil in. Just like so. Just like so. Okay. I'm going to set this back down here. All right, so season and packet. My scissors. Open that up. Pour this in here. There we go. Like that. chicken in there. my cucumber and my little tomatoes just a cup okay seed it and dice huh all I think I'm going to go ahead and peel it as well because I don't like the peeling on my cucumber. So. I'm going to go ahead and peel this up.
move this to the side for a minute. seeds out of the cucumber, but I guess just like that. Yes. First for me. You. People use a spoon to do this, don't they? Probably be a lot easier with a spoon. Try spoon. Just out of curiosity. Interesting. Never done this before. First time for everything, right? All right. So I'm gonna hold all this. Pour all this in the bowl. cucumber part. Now it's time to move on to these little beauties right here.
<laughs> All right. And that's pretty much it. And you stir it up. Just like that. There we go. Now you have it. That's how you make the Italian pasta salad on the box. All right. So I hope y'all have a good day. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll try to uh, get more content out to y'all soon. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day.